made it over to be on TV. I should imagine that was fairly heartfelt about being glad to be on TV. I mean, 20 years ago, would a guy like that have been on national TV in America? No, not hardly. I think the first that I ever saw on national TV uh, of that kind was Brown and McGee and Sonny Terran. That was oh, simply yes. because I believe Harry Belafonte at that time had a great uh, special going on and he used uh, I, had it not been him, I don't yeah. uh, think anybody else would have at that time. Yeah, and they were more sort of entertainers anyway. Yes, they? right, yeah, right. That sort of thing. But I mean, despite the little bit of showbiz, the hat and all that sort of thing when he was over here, getting back to the feel of the blues, I should imagine that sound that Sonny Boy Williamson made was pretty much like the original sound of the blues as that, we understand that was it. it. That yeah. was it. Oh, baby, that yeah. was it, yeah. That's the feel of the blues, the, yes. the, the spirit of the blues, but on a practical level, the subject matter of the blues, do, does it really almost always have to be hard times? Well, yes, that's the origin. That's how it actually started, from hard times. People, uh, I can give you a little bit more on that, if you will. Uh, people used to be in the field, would be out maybe chopping cotton, and maybe a guy had a bad night last night, especially if he was a gambler, he lost all his money, come home and his, his lady is angry with him. A lot of times, maybe even put him out. And he would holler the blues, hey, I come home last night, and my baby was mad as she could be, you know, something like that. And generally, uh, not realizing, a lot of other people had the same feeling, same thing that happened to them. Someone had hurt you one way. I don't mean physically, but mentally hurt you. Like, uh, uh, ladies sometimes would seem to go with the guy that had the money. Mm. Um, other times, maybe you have sickness in the family and you don't know who to go to. You can't get the money. For a lot of times, the boss man, when you figure that he should loan you some money, he would not. Mm. Um, your crops was bad this year. Sure. It was many things that would cause you to hurt. Obviously, the blues as a feeling has been so important in 20th century popular music. Is it uh, style? Is that what we say in the blues? Is it I, certain think, I think it is. I think it's a certain style. Now, some have said, um, John, that, uh, well, for instance, if you mention, shall we say, the Delta blues, the urban blues, the Chicago blues, the Memphis blues, and you could go on with blues, blues, blues. But then you had, um, I think, more of the individual, like, like the Blind Lemon Jefferson, like Muddy Waters, like Lightning Hopkins, mm -hmm. people like this, or John Lee Hooker. Sure. Uh, many of these were, the, to me, creators of the continuing blues that was started long before, yeah. shall we say, people that we know uh, that are popular today. Yeah, well, we've got one of those um, artists you just mentioned coming up now. Lightning Hopkins. Did you know him at all? Yes, yes. Oh, God, yeah. Cutting Lightning. <laughs> That's what I called him. Cutting Lightning. In fact, to me, uh, Lightning Hopkins was one of the few true blues players that came on through the 50s, 60s, 70s, on into even the 80s. He's one of the true ones.
play a guitar. I play it from my heart and soul. I play my own, own music. And I, I just keep it up because the blues is something that the people can't get rid of. Yeah. And if you ever have the blues, remember what I tell you. You'll always get this in your heart. Lightning Hopkins with the, the blue. Well, 
on Lightning Hopkins with the, the blues there, but one very happy man in the studio while that was playing. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying that very much. Yes, I am. I'm really enjoying it because it brings back so many good memories. Yeah. But you did say at one stage when Lightning Hopkins was um, just solo playing, yeah. you turned to me and said, of course, that's what it is. That, that's that's it. There's a feeling there that everybody can't do. That's right. I don't care what color you are. It can be black, but everybody can't do what Lightning was doing there. So certain something in the voice, have that nasal sound, a certain something that make you believe, because he's serious about what, he, what he's doing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people you hear sing in the blues, uh, will say it, they say the words, they have the melodic line there, but you don't believe him. Sure. But you believe him, because he's, he's honest about it. Mm -hmm. But clearly, like yourself today, I mean, you've got a six-piece band and, and a, a show and everything. But of course, you're still the blues. Uh, <coughs> it me. doesn't have to be just the man and the instrument in the same way that the blues does not have to be. We always call it the 12-bar blues right. because very often it is that uh, one line, you know, uh, sent for you yesterday and here you come today, day, repeated, yeah. sent for right. you yesterday, here you come today, and then the answer in the last four, sure. uh, whatever it is, you know, that sort of thing. But it doesn't have to be that. It, no, no, it don't. Uh, people like Bessie Smith had a certain type of style that she would do a lot of things that was blues but eight bar with mm. what we call a bridge, with a, you know, a t kind of a turn back of... Sure. In other words, uh, a 32 bar type thing, but still be blues, and sometimes mm. they seem like they would just lay what we call a bridge, a release in it. Mm. So that's what I'm saying. This, this early in the evening, yes. we established that the blues aren't one thing. Right. I mean, there's the blues in jazz, there's the blues in rock.